we get to indulge ourselves in the wonderful science of biological chemistry and study each and every living organism's mechanism. But the real question is, who gets the job done? How are reactions possible? What makes biological chemistry happen? The answer to these questions is enzymes. Enzymes are known to be our biological catalysts. And what are catalysts? They get the job done. Come join us in this experiment as we showcase to you what enzymes are and how they work. For this experiment, we will be needing hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, dry yeast, food coloring, plastic bottle, and gloves for our safety. Take the hydrogen peroxide and pour it in a bottle, halfway full. Next, add dish soap in the hydrogen peroxide solution. Mix the two ingredients together. Choose your preferred food coloring and add drops of it in the mixture. Mix active dry yeast in a cup with the warm water. Lastly, add the yeast mixture to the hydrogen peroxide solution, then observe. So, in the process of creating elephant toothpaste, the experiment needed only three main materials. These materials are hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, and a solution of yeast and water. So, the reason why the result of the combined materials is a large amount of foam is because hydrogen peroxide break down, breaks down in water and it produces water and oxygen but why the why do we need dish soap and yeast to create the elephant toothpaste i am going to show you so this is a this is a no not a this is the chemical equation to creating elephant toothpaste so 2H2O2 two, two when it breaks down in water would become water and oxygen as oxygen releases the bubbles form and would create this foam but to help create elephant toothpaste we need to add yeast as it is a catalyst which would help hydrogen peroxide to break down more in water and produce more oxygen or break down more oxygen. And why do we need dish soap? 
It is because dish soap creates more surface tension in the hydrogen peroxide. And so, the, the oxygen molecules are then trapped in, rather trapped, are more stuck together. And so, when you add the yeast solution to the hydrogen peroxide and dishwater solution, the oxygen that are trapped are released and thus creating a much more large volume of of bubbles and thus creating this foamy mess that's all